I just got through doing the hot wings video and I told you in that video that I'm gonna eat it with mashed potatoes and so I'm not gonna lose that opportunity of course you know me I'm not gonna lose that opportunity to show you how to make mashed potatoes you're watching the bear pantry show so on the same day that I'm making the hot wings I told you guys I'm doing mashed potato but I'm gonna do this as a separate video okay because I don't want to confuse things but I've got a few potatoes peeled and this is going to serve like four of us because Joe doesn't eat mashed potatoes he's going to have white rice I told you with the hot wings so I've got these potatoes peeled I'm going to get them diced up into chunks and we're going to get them in a pot of boiling water show you how I make mashed potatoes because mine come out kind of spicy so I put the potatoes see how big the chunks are in a six quart pot of water and I just put it on the fire and we're gonna get this boiled until it's soft and then when we come back we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I do the mashed potatoes um, a rule of thumb when making potatoes to serve people if you don't know how much to make if you have a a party of eight a party of five and he's like how much potato am I gonna put on to serve these people if the potatoes are small it's two potatoes to one person if the potatoes are large it's one potato to one person and that's how I judge how many potatoes to put on to make fries or to make mashed potatoes to serve how many people are coming over. So just one of my little isms that I made up with the rules. So here we have the potato going and when I come back these are going to be soft and we're going to be ready to put them, strain them through the colander and then add the other ingredients to it. Let's check in on our potatoes. I'm using my trusted serving fork. You know I use this for everything to check on stuff and I can go through the potatoes, see? That's how you know it's done. Because you can go through it with this with ease. You're not like fighting to get through it. So we're gonna bring this to the sink, put it through the colander to drain it. Then we're gonna add our little spices to it. So I put the potato in the colander and I drained it off completely. Put it back in my little pot that it was cooking in. And I'm mashing it with the potato masher. And remember, I'm doing this on the same day that I'm doing the, the wings, okay? I'm going to try to get this edited as quickly as I can to put it up shortly after the wings. And this is not, to me, I don't think this is any kind of magic potato, but when Jada's little friends come over, they really tend to love it. So I put some salt, some black pepper, some butter, And I suppose if you have margarine, you could use that too, but I don't use margarine for anything because margarine is a byproduct of butter and your body doesn't know what to do with margarine, but it knows what to do with butter at least if you put a little bit in. And I'm just using some 2% milk. Use whatever milk you have. If you have whole milk or non-fat, just use whatever milk you have. And I've heard my aunt who lives in Utah, uh, Kathy, told me that I could actually put this in the kitchen aid and this will whip up really smooth but I don't want to do any extra work so I'm going to use my trusted potato masher and when you see this mashed potato again it's going to be side by side on a plate with a beautiful spicy buffalo hot wings all right look at our fluffy spicy mashed potato put some on a platter and remember I told you we're eating it with wings today. So we're gonna put the wings, put some of that hot sauce on the potato, put another couple pieces of wings. And we're gonna get some kind of vegetable going on the side of this so we can eat healthy, all right? Now I know you guys are bright enough that you know things like hot wings and mashed potato, you don't eat that on a regular basis because it's so fattening and and this is so much carb and stuff, but I know you guys are bright enough to figure that out, so I'm not worried. This is an occasional type thing. The mashed potato, I don't think it's anything special, but it's my little concocted recipe that I did for it. It's spicy. When you taste it, it's, it's hot because I put a lot of black pepper in it. I hope you enjoy it. Tell me how it comes out. Thank you so much for all the people who are subscribing. It, it really, really helps. And also, thank you for the people who are picking up my book. Until I see you again, take care.